Mikel is one of our Search for Scratch subscribers and he wrote in saying that he has a 12 handicap and would like it to get to six, but he feels like one of his problems is fat and thin shots when he's close to the green and he feels disappointed about it. So I thought I would talk a little bit about just some of the core principles that will help you to chip a little bit better, Mikel. And there's a couple of things we need to focus on today. I'm assuming as a, as a better player, Mikel, that when you set up to your chip shot that you're probably leaning a little bit more on your front leg and favoring your front leg with the pressure than leaning on your back leg. So I'm assuming that's the case. So you want about 60, even possibly 70% of your pressure on the front leg when you play this shot to start with. So this is particularly important for people that don't get good contact that you want to feel like, because what you're actually wanting to do is the center of your chest here where the buttons are, you want it to be over the top of the golf ball and, or even when the golf club's hanging, even slightly in front of the ball. So in this case, you'll position the ball just a little rear of center. Center of your chest is slightly forward and that's going to help you with a descending blow. That's number one. Number two, when the golf club swings back, a lot of people that hit fat shots and thin shots over accelerate the club. So what they actually do is they swing back further than they should and then they get the club moving too quickly too soon and then it slows down too quickly. So that can set up a, a breakdown of the left wrist like this. You get a bit of a bend in the left wrist and you can see what the club head does. It tends to travel upwards more. So we want to make sure that we're swinging the golf club back a shorter distance. So Number one, the golf club always for a chip shot and a pitch shot stays in front of the body. This is the front of my body here. This is behind my body here. So when I swing the golf club back, the golf club is indeed in front of my body. So it can swing from here and it can swing down more as it strikes the golf shot. All right, from this view, it would look like this, up and down more. The other thing that we've got to look at as an advanced player is how far back you're swinging and how far through you're swinging. And I would suggest to you, that if you are someone that is swinging back further than you should be, and, and by definition for me in my system, the golf club for a chip shot doesn't travel higher than my right hip. You can see the shaft is horizontal here. That would be a long shot, almost bordering a pitch shot. And a chip, so chip shots are played from ankle to knee and up to hip. So it's gonna be somewhere in this range here. You'd be surprised how many good players actually swing the club a little bit further back than that. And because the club's a long way further from the ball than we want it to be, they have to start slowing down, hence the breaking down of the wrist. So we're gonna go for a shorter stroke. Club head is not traveling back as far. So let's say it's limited to the right knee. And when it comes through, let's go down through the shot and finish with it at the height of the left hip. So it's going from short here to longer here. You can see where the shaft is pointing here, down and under my knee, strikes the ball, club staying in front of the body, and then comes through to here like this. Now from here, I've got a pin close, but we're not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna strike the shot using that little system of back to my knee, through to my hip. It's gonna go off the back of the green, but you'll get the idea with it. So, ball position's played towards my rear foot. I'm leaning a little bit towards the target with my body. My center of my chest is slightly forward of the ball, Mikel. Golf club's gonna stay in front of my body here opposite my right knee, and then come through to here. Chest is gonna keep turning with the golf club. It'll finish like this, looks like this. Now that was a solid contact on it. And that came from having the club getting a constant rate of acceleration through the ball from a short backstroke to a long follow through. Mikel, I think that'll help you a lot Make sure after you've practiced for a while, send some feedback in and let us know how you're going. And thanks very much for sending the question in. Well, there it is. We hope you enjoyed this lesson. Remember to share any questions in the comments below and feel free to share this video with your golfing friends. We want to help you easily and effortlessly lower your handicap by four shots or more. So we want to invite you to join our Search for Scratch program, which we've designed to help you find out how good a golfer you can become if you are trained with the best coaching model practice plan and course management system, all whilst developing a champion golfer's mindset. For more information and to become another one of our success stories, visit searchforscratch.tv forward slash search for scratch program or click the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, commenting and sharing this video guys. We look forward to supporting your golf improvement in the Search for Scratch program.